Hi and welcome to Andy B's Mowing YouTube channel. Uh, we've been asked the question how to treat lo uh, clover in a lawn. Uh, in Australia there's two main products that you use to treat clover in lawns. Uh, active ingredients are either decamba or bromoxynol. Now 95% of your lawns um, you can treat with dicamba. The bromoxynil, bromoxynil you'll need for buffalo lawns. So you need to clarify first before you begin what sort of lawn you have. The most common ones in this area, which is Melbourne, Victoria, are kaikuyu. We don't have so much cooch, but we have a lot of kaikuyu. We have a lot of other grasses, and they can mostly be treated with dicamba. If you've got buffalo, now buffalo is your Sir Walters. It's the broader leaf grass. You are going to need bromoxynil. Now, bromoxynil is a very toxic chemical. It's right up there with paraquat um, and is very toxic to the skin. It can be inhaled and basically if you, you can buy it over the counter, but unless you have to use it, I would say probably don't use it. Uh, get a professional in to use it. Make sure that they're using all their correct PPE um, and keeping themselves safe as well as you and your uh, pets. Now, to keep it basic, uh, in Australia, um, you can buy the most simple product. Um, unfortunately, I have to talk about products because it's hard to talk about lawn care. Uh, in this case, without talking about specific products, um, the first thing you need to what you want to look at again is that di whether it's dicamba or whether it's bromoxynil. Dicamba um, comes in a in various different from very different forms from different brands. We use this one. It's a Yates product. It's sold over the counter at Bunnings, Mitre 10, all your other retailers. Um, it's about oh, 10 or $12 for the 500 mils and very handy, has a little cap on it. Now, it says Yates Lawn Weed Killer. It is a selective weed killer. It will kill the, the weeds in your lawn, but it will not kill your lawn unless of course you've got buffalo. So if you've got buffalo, you can't use this product, but this is the most simple product to buy and use. Um, I did a chemical users course a few years ago and I can tell you uh, from those three full days of the course, I learned the one most important thing which I'll give away to everybody. You can learn what I learned in three days by this one simple thing. Read your label, read every single bit of it. Uh, your instructions, your cautions, your safety directions, the situation in which you're using it. Um, that is more. In, that is the most important thing and that's what most people neglect to do. Read your label, make sure you're buying the right product, make sure you're using the product correctly and, and for the purposes of which, it, which it's intended. Now, uh, quite simply, this product here, Yates Lawn Weed Killer, little green bottle with the thing on the side. Uh, it's quite simply used. You follow the instructions on the back. Um, when you go to buy it, you'll probably want to buy uh, something like that, which I think you pick up for about under, under $20. Um, and that's a five liter pressure sprayer. So when, if you're going to do it yourself and not get a professional into it, simple, buy one of those, buy one of these. Um, that's probably going to set you about $30, $35 and then you can do your own clover or weed spraying in your lawns so long as it's not a buffalo lawn. Um, quite simple, read the, read the instructions. Uh, what's it take? Uh, 15 millilitres in 5 litres of water over 10 square, sorry no that's in a watering can. Uh, pressure sprayer, 75 millilitres um, water over 50 square metres. So I'll put 75 mils of that into the bottom of one of those and then I'll spray it over 50 square meters. Um, the things you have to do, and it's very hard to explain, um, but you will have to work it out yourself. Your pump, spray, your pump sprayers have got obviously a trigger um, and this little nozzle. Now like a hose nozzle, you'll have to work out um, a sort of medium amount of spray. You don't want it shooting to just a point. You don't want a really fine spray that's going to blow away. Um, you want it somewhere in the middle so you can get a nice coverage when you're spraying the lawn. 
Uh, put that back down there. Um, the other product, which is very handy to do, and I use it, it's a bit of a cheat. Um, it's also by Yates. It's an Easy C um, spray dye, which will mix in with your with your um, with your chemical, so that you can see where you sprayed. Uh, that's the most simplest way. Do, it treats clover. It treats uh, bindies. It treats cudweed, fireweed, dandelion, capeweed, docks, lamb's tongue. Um, very simple uh, and if you have any questions about it either contact send me a message or contact me or contact Yates directly there are other brands there are other products that you use um, but that is the most simple you'll spot it easily on the shelf you pick it up it's even got your little mixer thing um, and that's how you can get rid of your clover in your lawns if you have got a buffalo lawn there's plenty of other products which have, which have got the more toxic chemical called bromoxanol this one's called bin dye it's a selective lawn weeder. Again, it's active um, chemical is bromoxanol. So you have to wear a lot more PPP, I'm sorry, PPE for um, you, when you're using this stuff. Uh, that's another one. Lawn uh, weed killer for buffalo lawns. Again, it's got bromoxanol in it. Um, and again, it's a lot more toxic. So uh, make sure you, even though you're gonna read, you're always gonna read your, read your labels on any products you use, from start to finish, read the entire label. Um, these bromoxanil, I, I give you that extra amount of caution. Uh, po uh, caution. They are actually classified as a poison, whereas these ones is classified as a caution. Uh, so again, follow your safety instructions. Choose a day as per your safety instructions where the wind is low, where there's going to be uh, no rain expected for the whatever period of time recommended on the label. Also, I like to look up what the Delta T is, and the Delta T, I like to have it a mid-range between sort of two and six um, for spraying. That way I know that the weeds are going to take up the, uh, the chemical that's being used. Uh, if you have any questions, please shoot me a message and I'll be sure to answer them either in message or in another video. Thank you and I hope you're all keeping safe.